All right, everybody, this is Cinetopical, and we're doing Over Under Movie Sneaker Edition. All right, starting off, we have the Nike Cortez from Forrest Gump. You have a classic sneaker, all right? The, um, it's kind of ugly. Facts! And of course, you're right here, you have one of the most iconic sneakers ever. The Jordan 1, you know about them, you love them. If you don't have a pair, there's plenty of them, all different colorways. Shut up and take my money. Awesome shoot, awesome movie. Definitely check it out. I'm a big fan of Jordans. Big fan of the fours. Um, these look good. Obviously. I'd probably definitely cop these if I could. A Richard Donner film. Blazers, one of my favorite shoes. You should always have some in your collection. Um, yeah, I don't know if they come with the springs and all that shit, but your guess is as good as mine. Definitely, definitely a keeper. Game of death. These are the iconic Bruce Lee Asics. Um, these are like you definitely saw him wearing these in lots of movies and definitely recognize the shoe. It's not for me. Really? I like Asics, but just wouldn't ever see me wearing this shoe. You have the Reebok Alien. Uh, definitely just like a collectible sneaker. It's ugly as fuck. It's debatable! Not anything you would see anyone really wearing out on the street. Yeah, just something to add to the collection, something to put on the shelf. Back to the future. Gotta get back in time. Part two. And same with this shoe. Oh my no, God! No, God, please, no! No! It's just a very classic shoe. We all know what it is. Um, yeah, it's ugly as fuck. That's right, I said it! And I just really can't see anyone ever wearing it. The Sandlot. A little piece of paradise, a half a block wide, and a whole season long. Classic shoe. You probably have a Converse or some shit. Simple. Blazers. Again. Definitely try to have a pair. <laughs> so here we have the... Air flight posits from uh, Spider-Man. Green Goblin wears these. You know, they kind of did these up a little bit, so they're really hard to even tell that is it is a Nike shoe. But anything foam posit, air posit, I just think is absolutely hideous. Am I lying? And I would never wear it. But a good movie. Light and series. And definitely a worth watch. Yeah! You have the Carl Parrish from Jumanji. He uh, worked at the shoe factory. It, it's, uh, it's not a real shoe. It kind of looks reminiscent of maybe a Jordan or two, or maybe some Reeboks, but you know, like I definitely might, wouldn't mind having it. It's not a bad looking shoe. Devils. Sweet Feet it is not a real sneaker, and it is ugly. That's right, man. That's right. So here we have a pair of Air Maxes from Batman. It's uh, kind of just like the Green Goblins, like really did up. You can hardly tell it's a Nike shoe. The Air Maxes are dope. The leg restraints are not. But Batman is always a solid movie. Definitely worth watching the series. Hi, I'm Brian. Like, comment, and subscribe to Cinetopical. Thanks.